DigiCheck is RME's professional mastering grade audio measurement tool that helps you to visualize your sound in a way that is usually only possible with software that costs several hundreds of dollars. DigiCheck comes as standard with all RME audio interfaces and is completely free of charge. In previous videos we talked about the routing on Mac computers and the overall feature set. Now it's time to go a bit deeper with an advanced setup with more flexibility and precision at your fingertips. In contrast to the last video, we won't use the first two channels of our interface in conjunction with loopback as our input for DigiCheck, but instead one of the channels that won't be used in our session for recording. In this way, we can always check our audio signal while recording. This comes in handy for a lot of different reasons. In this case, we will select 8878 of our Babyface Pro, even though no ADAT cables are attached. Select 8878 on the bottom row of Total Mix FX and click on the tool icon to open up the channel settings. Then click on Loopback to send the signal back to the respective input. All we need to do now is to select the channel faders we want to analyze by selecting 8878 in submix mode and turn up the individual channel faders. But because most of the time we want to check the same signal as the main output, we have a handy shortcut for you. Simply right click on the main output and select copy mirror output main and copy it to 8878 by right clicking and selecting mirror of output main. This way all routings and future changes to the main output, except for the dynamics and EQ settings, will be also applied to ADAT outputs 7.8. So you never have to think about it again. In DigiCheck all we have to do is go to Options and Input Device Setup and make sure that ADAT channel 7 and 8 are selected. To finalize the setup we create a fader group and link the main output with 8878. By doing so, the faders will follow each other. This is just great, because we then have the additional benefit that we can measure the exact output levels within DigiCheck for the overall mix as well. Now we are finished and can store the setup in one of the eight snapshots. If you want more information about DigiCheck and its features, then please watch the other videos on our channel.